Welcome back to another weekly vlog. Today is going to be a very chilled video and I'm going to be sewing the Alexa pattern from Tilly and the Buttons. It is one of their newest releases and it's a gorgeous romper or jumpsuit type um, thing. <laughs> I'm actually going to be making the romper slash playsuit version, whatever you want to call it. And it's a beautiful um, tie waist very slouchy, comfortable piece of clothing, which I'm super excited about. I'm making it in a gorgeous linen from Sew Me Sunshine. So I thought I would do a sew along video today, just talking and stuff while I'm sewing and that kind of thing. It's not gonna be a video explaining how to make it because I'm using their lovely instructions and this is the first time I'm making it as well. So I'm very much a novice with this pattern and um, learning as I go, but I just thought it'd be nice little video and to talk to you guys um, about the processes and what I'm learning and that kind of thing if you're interested. So if you're new to my channel, make sure to subscribe, give this video a thumbs up. I upload every Sunday, so there is either a crafty video, a vlog or something every Sunday and I'm sticking to it, which is really awesome. I'm very proud of that. So yeah, I hope you stick around and let's get started. Hello from my water cup next to my sewing machine. <laughs> Only the best here. Let's move this about. Cool, so I am just getting started with the make and, oh God, look at me today. Um, what I've done so far is I've just put the interfacing on the bits that I need to put it on. And then I'm just gonna move on. I'm gonna do the stay stitching around. I'm gonna do the stay stitching here around the neckline. Um, and do that first, then I can carry on with the other bits in a minute. Stitching. What I've done is I've just gone through the little instructions book and I'm looking at things that I can do that don't require putting the pockets on the top or like whatever like that so you can always do that if there's something you don't fancy sewing in that particular session of sewing or that day then you can go and do like easier steps whether it's like the belt tie and then step away from the sewing room if you just want to do little bits at a time and I've really found that doing that has been a lot better for my mental health because I'm not pressurizing myself to get loads done in one session. Um, and I just, I've, yeah, I find it a bit more enjoyable that, that way. Pull this through, which is gonna take a while because I'm doing it with my hands, so I might go get a chopstick and just do it that way, a little bit easier. But this linen is quite um, susceptible to fraying, so I'm just trying to be really delicate with it. Um, but yeah, I just thought I'd just let you know that little tip. Um, it's kind of what I learned from Tilly's Make It Simple book is actually just to do sections and actually it's okay if you just want to do 15 minutes one day or you want to do two hours another day, you know, um, but you can choose the things that you want to do, you don't necessarily have to do it in the order of the book. I think as you get more confident with sewing, uh, it gets a bit easier to know what you can and can't do in the order that it's put out to you. Um, I very much still follow the booklets when I first, this is the first time I've made the Alexa so I'm following it, you know, page to page, but um, I know that I can do belts without needing to do the other stuff, so that's why I'm doing it. Um, but yeah, today's such a beautiful day, and I need to go put some makeup on in a second because me and Chris are about to go meet a friend at the park for a social distance catch up, and it'll be the first time I've seen him since like February, um, so it'll be really nice, but yeah gonna go get a chopstick for this now. I've been so dumb you guys. Um, basically what I'd done, I just cut 
this thinking it was interfacing. It's not, it's just a facing. And I mean, everyone is going to think I'm so silly, but um, this is when you first make a pattern, just little things like that. Um, and what a facing is, is basically just the same fabric and you, so you stitch it onto the pocket so that you get a nice clean finish. But I was doing it thinking it was a interfacing. So there you go. How nice this is looking my pocket isn't perfect but first time I've ever done anything like this and yeah just want to show you I'm just pinning it onto the front bodices now so I can stitch around it and keep that in place hi so I'm back it's about an hour later and I have my beautiful pockets sewn onto the front bodice it took me so long to do it obviously need an iron as well but I'm so happy with how they turned out because look Yay! So cute. And now I'm just sewing on my facing and I've already put on my little label. I've done this one which is Holy Stitch I Made It and I chose this one because, if I can, there you go, um, I chose this one because it's such a intensive, well not intensive but there's a lot more steps in this make than like a usual dress or something. Um, so I thought that label would be very apt. And now I'm just pinning all this facing around, um, using all of the pins, just to make sure it's all sat nice and lovely, um, so there's no errors or anything like that. Matching the notches as well, because the notches are like the most important part, like that's where you can make the shape go all funny. So I'm just making sure my notches are nicely matched and going from there. So... Yeah, it's been nice today. Um, it's been nice sewing and just sort of like not putting any pressure on it and I feel like I'm enjoying the process a lot, um, which is good. So here we go. This is where I've got up to. I'm about to finish for the day now because I'm going to go meet a friend and a social distance, obviously. It's kind of looking a little bit like a doctor's uniform at the moment um but obviously when the shorts and the little like ties and stuff are on i think it'll look really cute but yeah the color um was definitely a bit more blue than i than it looked when i bought it i thought it was going to be more mint green but i think it'll look cute when it's all done um really pleased with it so far and then for buttons i got these really cute like pearlescent -y pink ones that are vintage it look a little bit more trendy and um, yeah, I will see you again another day because I am done sewing for today and we will continue this trip. Hey guys, it's day two of sewing the Alexa and I thought I'd show you where I've got up to. So here is the top. It's all done. I've just sewn the buttonholes. Uh, the pink dots are Taylor's chalk so it comes out, well, pencil. Um, so yeah, it's looking really cute. I'm just going to sew the buttons on now. And I've gone for these really cute, like, pearlescent-y pink buttons just to kind of give it a bit more of like a unique um, look and to take it away from the doctor's surgery thing that I was saying yesterday um, but yeah I think it's looking really nice look how cute it looks oh my god it's actually looking adorable I'm so excited I'm now moving on to the trouser part which Seems really straightforward, but it's just the attaching it to the top half, which is probably the most difficult bit. And having fit the top, usually I am a four in the tilly and the buttons, and I'm sort of a size 10 usually, maybe a 12 on my bottom half, depending on the brand, um, which would be more of a five. 
and I tried the top one which is the four and it was a tiny tiny bit snug on my hips so I took it out a little bit on the seam and then now knowing that sewing the shorts I'm going to make the seam allowance smaller just so that there's a bit more uh, room like wiggle room because um, I probably should have cut or graded it into a five rather on the shorts um, just so you guys are aware because I'm a bit more pear shaped on the bottom so I found it's a little bit figure hugging on my hips um, but that's the great thing you can sort of merge two sizes together if you're smaller on top um, and Tilly has a blog post that shows kind of the steps to do that um, so yeah I'm going to do that with that in mind the fact that it was a little bit snug um, so yeah I'm going to start doing the shorts now and I will show you some progress when I've sewn them together so my shorts are done and I've just sewn on the uh, waist belt channel and next step is to attach the top to the shorts and this is a bit I get most nervous about but I'm actually really excited as well to see how it all comes together um, and the shorts are a really good fit now as well because I did that extra um, give on the, the seams so yeah it's going really well and actually super easy to put together if anyone thinks it might look a little bit difficult um, take it from me I've learned on the job I haven't even done a toil and it's surprisingly simple to put together just takes a few extra steps than if you were to like make a dress or whatever so yeah I'm very excited and I'll show you what it looks like in a second hello so I'm just about to put the belt channels through or well, the belt in through the belt channel with a safety pin and you guys, I cannot tell you how excited, how excited I am for this to be finished. It looks so good. Um, I'm really, really pleased with my stitching on this one. I think it's because, like I said yesterday, I um, kind of took the pressure off a little bit and just took my time. Um, which obviously is like something we should all do. Just take our time with things, not rush things. But I think when I'm like creating content and stuff like that, I get in my head a little bit so I then think it has to be perfect or um, I have to like get it up really quickly because um, when you're like putting content out online and you're kind of a craft slash sewing blogger and something new comes out like a new pattern I kind of feel this extra pressure to um, produce something and it kind of takes the fun out of it a little bit and I found for a couple of weeks I was like getting in my head and stuff um, and now I just thought, you know what, I just want to sew because I love sewing, for one, and secondly because um, I really want to try out this new pattern. So to see it come together so well just makes me very happy indeed. So um, yeah, I just thought I'd have a little chat with you whilst I am doing the belt. I'm just putting it through with a safety pin, um, so it's really easy to do. I think we've got... Chris, you coming upstairs? Huh? Come say hello to my vlog. Come be on the vlog. Come in. You show you your new haircut that I've given. Oh, sure. I've just given Chris a haircut out in the garden. He's looking very uh, fresh. Uh, uh. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, baby. Bye. Nice. Bye. Good boy. So there we go, you guys. Yay. It's looking so cool. Amazing. So now what I need to do is, I've got my print out of instructions, um, I need to do the rolled sleeve. I quite like the rolled sleeve look. I think it just makes it look a little bit more like, ed not edgy, but like fashionable. We hope anyway. Um, I need little buttons though. Do I want to do buttons? Does that got buttonholes on it? Oh. oh yeah, it hasn't got an actual buttonhole, it's just got a button sewn through it. Oh my god, my eye. This is what happens, you guys, I get threads and stuff in my eyes. Right. Got to choose a little bit of that kind of matches now. Would it look cute with a little daisy button on the side? Yeah. There we go. If 
you have any like spare buttons left in a packet, that's what you should do. Just sew them on the edges of your jackets and your t-shirts and stuff. Right, let's do these little belt thingies then. Oh, fun stuff. So I've got my belt loops. What is this saying? On each sleeve tab, press the short edge nearest. Press the two long, long edges under by long sides together. Press, press again and pin together the long edges. Edge stitch around the two OSC. Right, so what you need to do is fold them in like that and like that and then fold them together like that and then stitch it because I'm lazy I do it without a iron and just linen is really good because you can finger press it so I'm going to stitch those together Ta -da! Da -da 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 -da! oh my god you guys it's finished and um, Chris is going to go take some pictures of me wearing it now for my Instagram which is usually what happens I finish it get overexcited and then say if you can take pictures for me and it's a beautiful day so it's going to be really nice I'll do a little video wearing it as well so you can see the finished look it thank you so much for tuning in for my sew along i hope you found it relaxing inspiring um hopefully there was a few tips in there um but i absolutely love tilling the buttons patterns i rave about them all the time so head over to my instagram because i do post a lot more like sewing makes crafty makes lots of exclusive content over on instagram which is just page joanna and yeah I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you next week, next Sunday for my usual upload day. Thank you so much for watching guys. I love you. Bye.